Hi guys. Ray Townsend here, Charlie Tango One. Coming at you with um, very few videos just lately. Um, but I've just um, just purchased this actually. I'm, I'm, I'm back to <laughs> buying stoves again, you know. Yeah, this one, I mean, you see my collection of them, like, you know. But this one, uh, this is the uh, this is a very old stove, apparently. Um, so I believe it was, I don't know, something like the 1950s or something. Very early methylated spirits runs on, nothing else, just meths. So um, I thought um, a lady was selling it um, to get money for a sports uh, little scouts um, club that she runs. Um, so I, mean, I thought, well, yeah, it's for a good cause. I, and in return, I can supply her with some little bits of leather fobs that when they put a scarf around the neck, they just pull the scot, the fob up, which I thought was a good idea. Like, I mean, I don't know what she's paying for that one, but I won't charge nothing. I mean, we're talking about a dear little uh, silly little bit of leather. So she's going to send me a sample of what she's got, and I'll just take it from there. Anyway, getting back to this stove. Um, it's, well really, it's not bad, Nick, for, for, for its age. Um, these are um, just uh, some fibre washers that um, I, I have, as well as some uh, brass ones. And um, what I decided to do was, um, oh, excuse me, uh, I had to replace this little knob here, which actually is the... Um, Oh, done that up a bit tight, didn't I? Let's undo that. Which actually is the um, throttle key. So, um, cause I just, when I opened it up, I thought, oh, no, throttle key, where's that? And then I see this in there. And I thought, what, what, what's this? So, there you have it. Let's um, just have some mess leak out of there, actually. So let's, let's wipe that up so we don't get smothered. Right, that's that. Uh, I'm going to bring this in shots so that you can see. And I should bring the camera around a bit so that you can see. Uh, and down a bit so that you can see also. And I'll bring it in a bit. <laughs> Here we go. I must remember to take this back out. To uh, take this back out because I always tend to forget that. Well, there it is there. There's a little tiny stand here that um, just drops down. Put that up there. The lid, it just snaps shut. Um, this was... Uh, actually, it wasn't a too bad a state, to be quite honest, because um, considering how old it is, um, you don't get pressure in it. So it's just... A, basically, you could say it's like a... Um, a trangier. Um, let's say th this is the throttle, just goes in the end here like this. Same square thing, that's all. Um, and and this is the throttle. Now, um, this is the tank. Oh, where are we? This is the tank, this top bit. This isn't. Um, and this was quite messy, this in here, uh, uh, quite black and what have you like, you know, but anyway, I, I took it to pieces, as I do, <laughs> and I was quite pleased with it, I thought, right, fair enough, let's have a go. Now, I've cleaned up these pot stands, they was, I thought they was uh, black paint, but it wasn't, it was just <coughs> black crud really, I suppose, um, and in you got these two you pull up here as well if you want. So you've got um, you got your pot stands, no problem at all. So, but I won't need them for this, so I'll put them down. Oh, I'll keep them ones up. Um, and when I take this out, once I've opened the throttle, once I take this out the top, open the throttle, I put it back in the top there, you know, um, to uh, seal it back down. So, and 
is something else. Look at this. It's called a, a term sport. That's what it's called. Ooh. And you know, there's, there's your instructions. Let me zoom this back out because we know what's going on, don't we? All right, go out. There we go. You got them. That's the instructions and what it's about. Tells you joint sizes and this set there. But I don't think you can get spares for them now. <coughs> so and it's it is in English as well as German because they they are made in Germany. These things. So. Term sport. Right, so let's let's get it fired up, shall we? Let's, let's, let's see what's going to go go on here, shall we? Um, that's it. Yeah, it doesn't roar or anything like that, so don't don't expect miracles. Now, what we do, what we I think, what you do is you just open the valve, and it puts a little bit of. Um, Mess in the bottom there, and I did put a little bit of mess in this top piece here. Um, actually, I've got a bear with me, I've got a squidgy to do here. One of these uh, divots, or what do they call them? Pipits, I think they call them. When you can get them undone, I've never seen one undo one. When you get older, oh my god, fiddly bloody things, are they? Come here. That's it, that's it. Oh, it's clear, isn't it? No, right, let's do something else. I'm not going to mess about, and I'm not going to rub it on. People say, I'll oh, get on with it. Just get some mess in here now. And what I do is I'll put it here, just on this, because obviously it's got to warm up that tube, isn't it? So let's see what happens there. Put that out of the way. Put the lid on, otherwise you knock the bottle flying. Um, then we light it up. Going. Yes, it's going. I think you can see that, can't you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this top piece here is the um, the tank. It only goes down to there. Um, but there's a hole a hole in the top where this screws into. Um, so it's not under pressure, and you can put that back in there if you want. It's gone out, hasn't it? Um, and it doesn't seem to affect it that much. So. A bit more. I don't know how much you need to get this primed. Come on, get up there. I see, I'll just let it go for a while. Here comes a mess now. I'll shut it off again now. I think the idea is it warms up that tube. I'll shut it off because it's going in there. We don't want it all floating around in there, do we? It dies down. I'll um. But I think it might have done better if the little holes in the um, burner there were a little bit smaller. But that's the size they come at. She's starting to do something now. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> A lot of yellow flame there, but when you put the pan on it, it um, calms that down and it sprays out really nice on the underside of the, the pan or the, the kettle, whatever you happen, happen to be doing. So it's ideal for if you're not in a hurry. 
but then if I want something quick, I'll take my little Sphere 123 with me, or one of my um, 8Rs I'll take with me, or my 111s, all depends what I want. But there it is, I thought that's a lovely little stove. Um, it's put some money in the, in the kitty for the scouts, and I'm pleased with it, but I've cleaned it up a, a little bit. Um, but it's very good condition, I think, for its age. So, without further ado, I'm just going to um, I'm going to shut this off, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, <coughs> I'll empty the tank out, and then once that's done, I probably won't use it again. So um, it's always the same. I've got all them stoves that I've got going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got twelve stoves there plus this one. So, and I did leave uh, comments. Um, if you want a stove fixed or repaired, something like that, I've got some spare bits and pieces here. Brand new spares from a one, two, three, a one, eleven, an R8, uh, etc throttle stems all that I've got quite a bit of them there over the gradually collected a bit of them so it's not as if I'm going to be at a standstill if someone sends me a stove that they want me to look at I've just um, replied to some chap on YouTube that you know if you want me to fix the stove for you give me a ring I'll give you my address and uh, you can send it to me I won't charge yeah and I'll set it on there I'll say it again you have heard right, I will not charge only the £5 postage to send it back to you. That's all, that's all I'm going to charge, you know. But the rest of it, if I'm on it all day, doesn't doesn't worry me. As I say, I'm retired, so it don't, it don't worry me if I'm, um, you know, spend all day on it. But it's just something for me to do, keeps me occupied, uh, and... Uh, I'm determined to get things working. <laughs> That's me. I'll get that from my father, actually. So, yeah, I'll strip it down. Um, I don't I don't butcher it. I don't rip it to pieces. I just be very careful how I take it to pieces. And I put it back together in the same process. So, um, <clears throat> in order to get your stove going, one chappy uh, over in uh, uh, Korea, I think, or something like that, he sent the stove over all the way from there because he, he tried it, he said, I can't get it going. I just come over here and I stripped it right down and there was one or two problems that needed to be addressed. I'd done that and then I'd done a video and told him, here's your stove, mate, up and running and it was roaring like a good one. So, without further ado, I'm going to go indoors now. Um, I've still got me bloody leather work to do. I'll put this up online and... Uh, as I say, if you uh, if you want me to repair your stove or anything, I'm in Canterbury, Kent, England, but you can send it. Uh, you know, you you can send more or less from anywhere in the world, uh, and that's all I will charge you to postage. If it goes to America or Canada, or something like that, well, the postage will be about twelve pounds. That I do know. We're sending me leather work over there all the time, so that's what that costs. But as I say, I'll get it over and turn around as quick as I can. Now the phone number to ring, I've got a pen, yeah, is 077 -09 Now if you ring me on that, I can give you my address to send your, your stove to, send your stove to, um, and we'll take it from there. Alright, as I say, I do enjoy doing them keeps me occupied, my mind active, so you all take care out there and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Cheerio.